splitting method subtraction. So we've been working on splitting with addition now, and subtraction is the exact same type of strategy, same concept. Um, when there is no ungrouping, it's virtually a very, very easy strategy to use. It becomes a little bit more complex when you have to get to regrouping. So we'll start off with some non-regrouping um, or non-ungrouping problems, and then we'll work our way through. So let's take a look. We have 63 minus 21. And just like when we with addition, we're going to split off the ones and we're going to split off the tens. So we end up with 60 minus 20. Okay. And we end up with 3 minus 1. All right. And let's take a look. 60 minus 20 is 40 and 3 minus 1 is 2. Our answer is 42. 75 minus 14. Let's go ahead and break them off our ones again. And again, we take a look. We can do 5 minus 4. We can do 70 minus 10. 70 minus 10 is 60. And 5 minus 4 equals 1. 37 minus 25. Again, we'll break off our ones. And we'll take a look, and what we have is we have 7 minus 5. We know that that is a problem we can do. And 30 minus 20, that's a problem that we can do. So 30 minus 20 equals 10. And 7 minus 5 equals 2. 45 minus 23. Again, we have 40 minus 20, which is 20. And 5 minus 3 which is 2. Put it together, it's 22. Now, this one's a little bit different because we're going to notice when we split, it's really, really hard to subtract 3 minus 6. So we're not going to be able to do that. So what do we need to do? We know that we need to ungroup our tens now. We have four tens or 40 right here, and we need to ungroup that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slide a 10 over, right? We just spent a, slot, spent a 10 over there, and now we have 13. But we had 40, and we shifted one over, so now our 40 is going to become a 30. And now we're going to go ahead and we can subtract, and we're going to do um, 30 minus 20, and we know that that's 10. And then we have 13 minus 6, and we know that that is going to be 7, and our answer is 17. 44 minus 19. Again, everything doesn't work out all well here. We know that when looking at 4 minus 9, that's not something that we can do right now. So what do we need to do? We need to slide a 10 over from our 40. So we're going to go ahead and slide a 10 over, and our 40 is now again going to become a 30. And now we have 30 minus 10, which is 20, 14 minus 9, which equals 5, and our answer is 25. 42 minus 23. Again, all is not good because 2 minus 3, uh, we need to ungroup that 40 again. So we'll go ahead and we'll ungroup it. Send that 10 over. We have 12 minus 3. And our 40 is no longer a 40. It's a 30. So we have 10, 9, and our answer is 19. 74 minus 49. We'll split them off. And again, we were running into trouble because we know that 4 minus 9 is not... is. 4 minus 9 is not something that we can do at this point in time. So what we need to do is we need to shift the 10 over from the um, from the 70. So we'll go ahead and we'll shift the 10 over. And we have 14. Our 70 is no longer 70. Our 70 is now a 60. 60 and 40 is 20. 14 and 9 is 5. And our answer is 25. 